What's up guys? We are headed up to the pig ranch. This is the, the same ranch that Abby killed her pig on, the one that I posted a, a while back. Uh, my good buddy Jim um, has been guiding on that ranch for a long time now. He's stepping down and basically giving us the lease. So Fins and Feathers has taken over. We have everything all packed up. I have the family in town, my aunts, my uncles, my grandma from New Mexico made the trek out and pregnant Aberdeen. <laughs> all right, pretty much all done. Loaded up, we got a whole crew. We got Jeff in his truck, Pap over there. We got the Traeger in the back of his truck all loaded up. My aunt and uncle are taking off. Headed back down to Visalia. And then grandma is jumping in with me. And uh, she's gonna go visit some friends up in Reading. So, it just worked out perfect. So we're headed up. Oh no, Papa's drinking his coffee already. At least he's driving separate. <laughs> tell his mom. All right, we're outie. Grandma, are you ready? I sure am. <laughs> and Jeff's right here. Let's get these shoes on the road. That's Boots right. on the road. Grandma knows. Got up to Reading. I'm gonna drop grandma. Come here, grandma. <laughs> she makes me feel Hi, tall. <laughs> I yes. love it. But uh, we're dropping grandma off. She's gonna visit with some of her friends here for the next few days. And then uh, I am going to the pig ranch. So um, they are on their way right now. And then grandma's off for a, another fun. How long are you staying? Another five days? Three. Three days yeah. with them. <laughs> Jimbo, right here in the side by side. <laughs> Him and old Red Bone sitting there looking all sexy. What's up, howdy, Jimbo? Howdy, howdy. Oh, Red Bone doing? almost took my tire out. No, he, he dodges them. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Good, good. Give me some. Oh, God, the ranch is looking beautiful. Oh, my God. I think they can see it from here. That's the moment. Oh, man, it's beautiful. This is a really cool telephone pole. You got all these tusk marks from all the boars that rub on it and rub the tusks all over it. Cut marks. That's awesome. When you know there's a lot of pigs in the area. <laughs> ah, home away from home. I made it. All right, so we're gonna start unloading, start getting the cabin all situated. We got some cots. Um, just bringing some stuff to leave up here for clients here in the future. I'm just getting this bad boy all set up. You guys have seen this before. Um, like I said, on Abby's hunt and uh, my hunt with the, with my Hoyt up here with old Jimbo, but we've gotten the sucker all cleaned up. We're gonna be start, we're gonna start running more fins and feathers clients through, through here and on this ranch and we're super, super excited, so. Um, right now it's about 4 or 4 30. We're gonna unload and see if we can get out for a little evening hunt, but I gotta get to work. I got some of my teriyaki Venison six for my California deer that me and Nate dog got All right, here we go Fellers we go. Let's bring back old memories.
so we just found some pigs up top up here. Jeff's getting his gun all set up. Old Papa's getting his as well. We got Redbone on guard. <laughs> but we're gonna sneak up there, see if we can go find him. Um, there's a good boar in the group too, so let's see what we can do. A couple pigs. We got eyes on that boar. I mean, if you can really pick any one of those, Jeff. Pick and choose, baby. Yeah, those are all about 120 pounders. Those are good eating. They're all going to be great. What do you guess a yardage? 150? Yeah. Yeah, one, yeah. They're big targets. Dude, that one pick looks kind of grayish. So. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's so cool. They're fighting. That's a big boar right there. I know there's a good boar in there, I saw him. But if you want to shoot that sow in the back, she's big. Which one? The one in the gray, you can just see her ass right now. Yeah. I think that boar, that's a boar right behind her. See that boar? He's like off in the back, black. They're fighting. Yeah, he's to the right. He just strolled. Um, he's walking in the back. Yeah, just keep, keep on him. Wait for him to turn broadside. I don't get a clear shot. Now. Yeah, they'll come to the right. Let them come to the right. Ah, they're going away. <laughs> Just make sure you don't hit multiple, like wound one, you know? Yeah. I got no clear shot. Yeah. If the gray one gets clear, I'm gonna take her. Okay. <laughs> shot Jeff. I'll still get my leg. That's awesome. <laughs> Good shooting buddy. Give me some. And she's still kicking. Yeah. Nice job, bud. Yeah. Awesome man. Well we just came up on that big group of pigs and uh, Jeff there's a beautiful sow. Big razorback looking sucker and uh, Jeff just put her down right now so yeah, that's a good pig. Good job Jeff. Thank you, my friend. You got your first pig with me years ago. That's right. How long ago was that? Probably too long. Yeah, eight years ago. She's a cool color. Yeah, it's that like just that razorback looking. Well, now the work begins. This is our first evening here, and uh, we got a pig down, so that's always a good thing. We're gonna get this thing all cleaned up, um, get it in the in the cooler, and then uh, head back to camp and start making some food. But Success! That's awesome. Good job, guys. <laughs> Hell of a first night. Yeah. Freezing our asses off. It's cold out here. We're gonna make a fire right here. Show us where the wood's at, Red. Are you gonna make us a fire, buddy? We're gonna cook some food and warm up. All right, here we go. Morning one, so this is day two. We are headed out. Jeff got his pig last night. It's time to go see if we can find some bacon. For me, <laughs> I'm all out of pig. So I was out of pig by September of last year. So I haven't had time to get up and do any pig hunting. But see if we can put some some pork in the freezer for the rest of the year, and see what we can do. What do you need, Jimbo? You need some binos? Mm -hmm. No wonder I can't guide anymore. This guy's losing Boo. his touch. Losing his touch. <laughs> Boo.
All right, we just started going for a walk and I just spotted a shed. That's old. <laughs> All right, we got back. No pigs this morning. We did find some sheds. We're back at the cabin. We got some whitetail burgers. This is from my Ohio buck I just got out with my buddy Zach. I just made those. We got the Traeger heating up out here, starting to smoke. Turn that baby up to 450 and throw them suckers on. It's already kind of late. It was a long day for us. We put some miles in, so we don't have a ton of time. We're gonna eat, chill for maybe an hour and then head back out hopefully uh, get something done tonight. I actually have to get going tonight. I gotta fly to Utah, go out and do the Traeger lunch. So I'm excited about that, but I got a lot of work to get done. So I gotta head back tonight, but um, these guys are gonna stay. We'll get an evening hunt in and then they're gonna get up tomorrow morning and head out. <laughs> Watch it, bro. Woohoo, look at that! What's the temp at? <laughs> Still well, first though. we let it smoke and then we take the temperature <laughs> all the way up. This guy's nuts. We just got back to camp. No piggy for me. We saw some sows. I think there was three of them out there. Two of them had a bunch of piglets, which was super cool to see, but we opted, opted out. We want to let those keep breeding and populating for more bacon down the road. But we are done for the day, actually done for the trip. These guys are going to stay here tonight. I got to get on the road and head home, but these son, son of a guns are going to sit here and grub. They got all the good wild game that I'm leaving. <laughs> got the trigger out there. They're gonna cook, but thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.